This is part 15 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss two-way data binding in Angular. Let's understand two-way data binding with an example. So here is what we want to do. Whatever we type into this text box, we want to echo that value on the web page as you can see right here. And we want to achieve this as we are typing into the text box. At the moment, we have these characters type Tom Hopkins and that's what is displayed on the web page. So let's see how to achieve this using two-way data binding in Angular. This is the same project that we have been working with so far in this video series. So within our app component class, let's include a property. I'm going to call it name. The data type is string and let's include a default value of Tom. And then within the view template, let's include this literal text name and then an input element. And we want to bind to the value property of the input element using property binding. So value equals within quotes the name of the property that we have in our component class. In this case, the name of the property is name. And let's close the input element and then let's include an HTML break. And then after that, we want this literal text you entered and we want to display whatever value the user has typed into this text box. So let's use interpolation for that. And within double curly braces, we specify our property name, which is name. So with all these changes in place, let's run our application by pressing Ctrl F5. At the moment, we only have one-way data binding, that is from our component class property to HTML element properties. Notice whatever value we have in this name property, at the moment we have Tom, that value is displayed both in the text box and on the web page. To display it within the text box, we are using property binding. And to display it on the web page, we are using interpolation. But the important point to keep in mind is we only have one-way data binding from component class property to HTML element properties. Now, as we type within this text box, Notice the data is not flowing in the opposite direction. So what we want to be able to do is as we type within this text box, we want that value to be flown in the opposite direction and then update this name property within our component class. So we want to be effectively able to flow data from an HTML element to the component class property. So we have two-way data binding. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's use event binding to flow data in the opposite direction. I'm going to make use of the input event of our input element. Notice the input event is within parentheses. And then I'm going to have this expression right here. Name equals dollar event dot target dot value. If this code doesn't make sense at the moment, don't worry. We'll discuss that in just a bit. So let's save our changes. And then let's reload our web page by pressing Control F5. Now notice, as we type into the text box, the updated value is reflected on the browser. Now here we have two-way data binding. So let's understand the code that we have just written. The property binding right here flows data in one direction, that is, from our component class property to HTML element property. And this event binding right here flows data in the opposite direction, that is, from our HTML element to component class property. Look at this expression right here. Name property within our component class equals dollar event dot target dot value. So what is this dollar event object? This object is exposed by Angular data binding and contains event data. In this case, it contains the value that we have typed into the text box. And to get that value, we're using that dollar event object dot target dot value. And then that value is then used to update name property within our component class. So effectively, you know, as we type into the text box, whatever value we are typing into the text box, we are using that value to update the name property within our component class. And then this interpolation expression right here is binded to the name property. So we see the value that we have typed in the text box. So we can think of Angular two-way data binding as a combination of property binding and event binding. And here is that exact same code which we just discussed.
To save a few keystrokes and simplify Angular 2A data binding, Angular has provided ng model directive. With ng model directive, we can rewrite this line of code right here like this. Notice we are effectively replacing this property binding and event binding using ng model directive like this. Let's look at this in action now. I'm going to replace both this property binding and event binding with ng model equals name and then I'm going to wrap this ng model within a pair of parentheses indicating we want event binding and then on the outside I'm going to have pair of square brackets indicating we also want property binding. Let's save these changes and then reload our web page by pressing Control F5. Notice it doesn't do anything beyond displaying this message loading app component content here. Let's launch the browser developer tools by pressing F12 and notice we have an error and look at what the error says. Template parse error can't bind to ng model since it is not a known property of input. So basically Angular is complaining that it can't find this directive ng model. This is because ng model directive is present in a different system Angular module called forms module. For us to be able to use this ng model directive, we will have to first import that forms module and we do that within our root module which is present in app.module.ts. So just like how we have imported ng module and browser module, we will also have to import forms module. So let's make a copy of this line. The module that we want to import is forms module and the forms module is present in angular forms. And just like how we have included this browser module within the imports array of this ng model directive, we'll also have to include forms module. So let's specify that right here. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice now it works as expected. Don't forget to import ng model directive from Angular system module forms module otherwise you would get an error. And here we have the syntax for two-way data binding. Remember two-way data binding in Angular is a combination of both property binding and event binding. The square brackets on the outside are for property binding and the parentheses on the inside are for event binding. To easily remember this syntax, compare it to a banana in a box. The parentheses on the inside are for the banana and the square brackets on the outside are for the box. Thank you for listening and have a great day.